So although I'm really, 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 really sad that Firefly is over, we have to move on and it's time for a new series. I'm really sad. And, and the reason I've chose Band of Brothers, I didn't tell you it was Band of Brothers, it's Band of Brothers. And the reason, the reason is because we always do comedies, always do comedies. And Firefly was like sci-fi, but it was still hilarious. So it was still a comedy. So this, this one is going to be completely different, I think. Something completely new for the channel. And I think it's all about the war. So yeah, there, I don't think it'll be comedy at all. Another reason that we're doing this one is because my father-in-law like highly rates it. I know you, a lot of you guys have suggested it, a lot of you have, but my father-in-law loves it. So if he loves it, then it's going to be awesome. Should be, but we will see. So Band of Brothers, first episode, I think there's 10 episodes but only one season maybe and I don't know what the name how to say the name Karahi Karahi is what it's called <laughs> it's called something like that if you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning on staying you haven't already then please subscribe and also all that other good stuff too that you know that you know that helps the channel grow and I think we're ready to start let's find out what's happening in Band of Brothers Karahi Crahi and play. Oh, HBO reminds me of Game of Thrones. And three fellows in that town committed suicide because they couldn't go. Because they couldn't go. The guy said, Well, you jump out of airplane, go to hell. Nobody put up their hand. Oh, who would? But you get paid $50 a month more. So that made it a hundred bucks. <laughs> wow. $50 must have been so much more money. I already know I'm going to enjoy this just with the way that it's done. And all I need to say as well, you guys know that when I start a new series and like it's a new characters, new story and all that, I can't, it's like so, I don't like it. It's so difficult for me to understand everything. I find it really hard. But once I get into it, it's fine. I just need to pay attention. Oh, that's Abraham from Walking Dead. That must be very risky jumping out of a plane to attack because you'll obviously have a parachute and then you're going to be like, everyone will see you because you have a massive parachute on top of you, like a flying target. And then you can't, oh, he, I know him, he's in Desperate Housewives. Um, and then you can't know where you're going to land. You might like land on top of an enemy, like right on top of him. Band of Brothers. I'm excited. It looks so good. Nice quality. Karahi. Kur Somebody tell me how to say that. I'll probably find out in here. That guy from Desperate Housewives, I really liked him, but he's got unusually very, very blue eyes and very, very blonde hair. Oh, I want to learn how to do that. No jump tonight. Invasion has been postponed. We're on a 24-hour stand -down. Oh, you'd think they would be happy. It so happens I rather expected it. Oh. Or is it because they were, like, ready to go, and then when they're when you're like, yeah, you're not doing anything, they're like, ugh, for God's sake. How are your men? They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They're annoyed. They're all scunner. Maybe an early dinner before the theatre. I recognize him. Actually, you know, he's from there. Oh, yeah. 712 days of that son of a bitch, and here we are. You? Who were they talking about? Two years earlier. Okay. Okay. Pay attention. I know what I'm doing. You people are at the position of attention. <laughs> That's Ross Geller. What's he doing in this? I, have, I don't think I've ever seen him in anything else before. No, sir. That explained the creases at the bottom. Your weekend pass is revoked. Oh, oh. Is that all it takes? Dirt in the rear side after your pass revoked. Ah, oh, they're strict. That's Abraham. Rust on the butt plate, hinge spring, private bullshit, revoked. Private bullshit? <laughs> Who had a weekend pass has lost it. Changing to your PT gear, we're running curry. Running what? Curry? We'll soon fall out, we have two minutes. What? He's proud of himself. This is nice. Like the picture is nice. Why are you not in your PT gear? I asked you a question, Private. He doesn't want to be there. 
But what's that going to do then? Somebody's going to get into trouble. Oh, do not help that man! Do not help that man! Do not help that man. I thought they would have had to help him. Two players and all that. Come on, you can make it up here. Come on. Come on, come on, Ellie. Let's go. Come on, Gunny. Oh, back down again, though. We are coming on 23 minutes. Back down sometimes just as hard as up because you're using different muscles. We can do this. Come on. And it'll be so much harder with all that gear. Oh, how tiring. It's like, my legs are sore just watching them. Why come we're the only company marching every Friday night, full pack in the pitch dark? Because he wishes to be the best. Lieutenant Sobel hates us, sir. <laughs> Lieutenant Sobel does not hate Easy Company, Private Random. He just hates you. <laughs> Easy Company. He hates you too, huh? He's trying to make you the best. You will fill your canteen and repeat all 12 miles of the march immediately. Oh, what? Oh my God, right away, without a break. I want the names of six men. They're infraction. What infraction, sir? Find some. Oh, oh Ross, you're mean. Come back, do that. You just broke both your legs, Private Gordon. Well, how have you land? It's cool transitions. Yeah. I hope that's not human. You have 15 minutes to the top and back, and I will be watching. What are you waiting for? 15. 15. 1 5. What the hell? I bet they're all going to be the best, though, because of him. No way. M maybe 50 minutes. No way you can do it in 15. Oh, what? Easy Company has the finest performance record in the entire 2nd Battalion. Yeah, I thought so. Isn't that Lieutenant Winters leading Easy Company in PT? I was planning on giving him a set of these today. Why don't you do it? Oh, he might not. He might keep them for himself. Yeah, he's going to find something. How is it Private Private Tipper has spare time for so much correspondence? <gasps> oh, you can't do that. What is this? That looks like... Anybody. It looks like chicken. Can of peaches, sir. Oh, peaches. That was a can of chicken. And I will not tolerate thievery. Whose footlocker is this? Private Parks, sir. Get rid of him. Get rid of him? All weekend passes are cancelled, officers included. What the actual hell? Did he say get rid of him? Colonel Singh has seen fit to promote you. Congratulations. Oh, you are giving it to him, I thought. Once you've been promoted, can you be demoted or does that not work like that? A special meal before their afternoon off. What kind of special like meal? Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> this is like a special meal. I like spaghetti too. Oh, yum. They're loving it. Change, get up! DC Company is running up curry! Move! What? Did they not even get to finish? Oh, God. Oh, that's why. That was your plan all along. It'll all be over right now. No more pain. No more curry. No, he's going. He's going. We call upon the grass. I, 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 Christ Almighty, who let me call upon the grass. I thought when I first saw him that I would only be able to see Ross Geller, but no, I, I can see the sergeant man now. He's tough. This will be the first of five exits from a C-47 aircraft scheduled for today. Oh, is this their first time? This will be interesting. Fifth and final jump will be certified Army paratroopers. What? They only get to practice five times? Maybe five times is enough. There'll be a lot of men dropping from the sky today. Hopefully, under deployed canopies. Oh, God. What if their parachute doesn't go off? <laughs> their parachutes are... They're letting them off straight away. I thought you had to, like, be away from the plane first. Oh, they're white. So they might blend into the sky. I thought they would be... <laughs> For some reason, I thought they were like multicolored. <laughs> oh, no. Any refusals in the aircraft or at the door, and I guarantee you, you will be out of the airborne. Yeah, I did think that. Oh, no. The, oh, I see. Okay, so it's like attached to the plane, and then, yeah, it's not It's not like they're letting it off themselves. You mean like your fucking sergeant? I'm just kidding. Congratulations, Martin. Aww. Are those dusty jump wings? Just give me a drink. 
Is that the boy from the start that was scared to go out? That wouldn't join in the PT? I want you to know that I'm damn proud of each and every one of you. Now you deserve this party. Me too, I'm proud too. And remember our motto. Kurahe! 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 Okay. I don't know what it means though. What's happened? We're in the wrong position. Oh no. We should sit tight and let the enemy team come into our killing zone. Let's just get them. We have perfect cover here. Pull your troops. <gasps> I think that might be the wrong move. Move out. Oh, I don't think you should move out. I love all the noises, the sound effects. Oh, shit. Captain, you've just been killed along with 95% of your company. I thought this was real. <laughs> For you. You, you, you. He's going to take it out on them. He gets jumpy and then you get killed. If we discuss it, I think it should just be amongst ourselves. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Did he hear you? Second platoon ready? Ready, sir. Then get them in formation. We're moving out. He knows something. Now they must have put him in charge for a reason. Yeah, because the army wouldn't make a mistake, right, Chief? Oh, this is all going to go terribly wrong. I can feel it. What's his name? Sergeant what? Sobel. We're invading Europe, my friend. Since when do I drink? If you drink it, I wouldn't offer it to you. He went to Alt himself. I had a case of a bat 69 hidden in your footlocker. Huh? Was he talking about drink? He's hidden heaps of drink in his footlocker. Arm him with a fighting heart. Make you proud of him. Signed Herbert M. Sobel, Captain. Commanding. Sobel. Captain Sobel. That was lovely, by the way. Lovely letter. Flamingos are mean. They bite. Do they? More than naked native girls. <laughs> Flamingos are beautiful. Once we get into combat, the only person you can trust is yourself and the fella next to you. If even that. That paratrooper turns out to be Sobel. I'm next to Sobel and Combat. Wow, how many beds is there, like, on top of you? What if one falls? Then they all fall. I hope they're sturdy. Plus, if one farts, it's going on you. It's a joke. I'm a joke. Get your nose out of my face. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't scrap among yourselves. Now leave the fighting for later. At the same time, our second platoon in this particular case moves over here. This is so complicated. There's so much they need to learn and remember. Wow. I would love to shoot one of them just once in my life. I wouldn't shoot anyone. Maybe like a car or something. Sobel's lane. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. There he is. We could go over it, sir. That's not the point. We're the goddamn... We're the goddamn hell on. Are you, you? I think you get lost a lot. Do you know how to read maps? Can you do major what? Maybe the good major can goose this smug. Oh yeah, yeah, do it. Three, isn't that the intersection? No, sir, it's here. You can find it off. <laughs> what tit? Is there a problem, Captain Sobel? Major Horton, what, what is he? Did he join us? Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> Goddamn! Hold up, Mister Sobel. <laughs> <laughs> a barbed wire fence! Oh, that dog just ain't gonna hunt! <laughs> I might just need to run over and speak to him like face to face. <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, Jesus. Where are my goddamn wire cutters? You're gonna let all the cows out. Double envelope and lay down a base of fire to cut the road in all directions. You can tell we're in England because of the phone box. Okay, got you. <laughs> I don't have a clue what you just said, but I'll pretend. Lovely old man. Dear me. Dear me. <laughs> Turn around. That's so funny. <laughs> Done it now, Yanks. You've captured me. Oh, were they meant to capture him? No way. Would that be the enemy? As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. That old man's lovely. I love an old man. Who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? Made you avoid Yes, sir. No. Nope. Yes, he did. Not true. Is on leave in London. Get those cows out of here. Look at them, they're so bonny, bonny, bonny cows. I went to wash one and then blow dry it so it's all fluffy. For Captain Sobel's compliments, sir. 
What's it say? Not for crying out loud. Misspelled court martial. What's that, what's that mean? I performed my duty as I was ordered, sir. And I disagree. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, yeah. I know what's happening here. Or you may initiate a letter of appeal and request a trial by court martial. Appeal. Appeal. You spend your weekends on the base anyway, Dick. Be a man. Take the punishment. No. Appeal. My endorsement, sir. I request trial by court martial. <sighs> You're screwed. Good luck with that. We lost winners to Battalion Mess. You're shitting me. Nah. Well, I think I know him too. So we're going through with this, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, it's something. Had to be clear of the consequences. I don't care about the consequences. We could be lined up against a wall and shot. What? No. I'm ready to face that. No. I will not follow that man into combat. Yeah, I was thinking that. Like, yeah, stand up against him. You need to feel safe. Well, let's do it. And if your captain or sergeant or whatever he's called isn't making you feel safe, then that's a no-go. All right, boys. Good luck. Good luck, yeah. I ought to have you all shot. There's nothing less than an act of mutiny while we prepare for the goddamn invasion of Europe. They have reason. You are hereby transferred out of my regiment, which leaves me no choice to spare your lives. Why did you just get rid of one? Get. Okay, so that didn't work. Does he know what they just did? Or what they tried to do? I believe you fielded one of the finest companies of soldiers I've ever seen. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's maybe true, but he's no use when he's out in the field. Established a parachute training school at Chilton Foley. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. Oh, yeah? What? Sir? Say that again? I'm reassigning you to Chilton Foley. What does that mean? I'm losing easy company? War if it needs you elsewhere. Yeah, I think he knows. He knows. Is who who will be replacing me? Lieutenant Meehan from Baker Company, a senior. Oh, I thought we were going to put Winters in charge. <laughs> Don't let us down now. He knows what he's doing. Getting you out. He obviously did well training them, but he can't do much more than that. Oh. Oh, he's not allowed to do that. You always have to salute. A few lads, actually, so I can get your mince pies with some of this Jerry Clubber. Do you know what I mean? Not really. <laughs> got a Luger? I'm dying to get my hands on a real Luger. What? A Luger? Ooh. You're having a bar if you think you're off, isn't you, Oh, uh, yeah. He thought he was getting to keep it. <laughs> I think you can tell if someone's American or if someone's English. You just need to look at their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Never put yourself in a position where you can take from these men. Oh, yeah, that's good advice, actually. On the last training job, I had a compass. Close the flap. What's a compass mean? I know what a compass is, but what does that mean? Ride it over Ramsbury. Ramsbury, every single time. So, it's Normandy. Oh. Linking Utah and Omaha into a single continuous beach. Okay. Okay. We will drop behind this Atlantic wall five hours before the 4th Infantry lands at Utah. How much notice do they get? Or sometimes do they not get any? They just have to get up and go. Just compass, bayonet, entrenching tool, and a pair of nasty skivvies. You have to carry all that. Still got my shoot, my reserve shoot, my main west, my M1. You have to carry all that stuff that you just said. Heavy. Condoms? I don't know. Bro. Condoms. <laughs> Go on over and see Sergeant Evans. Boys, don't let your families miss out on $10,000. I wonder how much that was. Maybe like 100000 Garnier's brother in Italy killed in Monte Casino. What do you think I should do? If it were me, I'd tell him. Tell him, yeah. A couple of hours before we jump? Oh, yeah, tell him after. Tell him after. Mm, but then, uh, yeah, I would tell him after. Colonel's sick. It looks like he's eating coconut oil. You're en route to the great adventure for which you have trained for over two years. That's why they gave us ice cream. Oh, it's ice cream. <laughs> I know it's coconut oil. The invasion has been postponed. We're on a 24 hour stand down. 24 hour stand down. Here is John. Got the wrong goddamn jacket. Whose jacket do you have? Uh, Bill Garnier's brother. Oh, is that your brother? Is that your brother? That's a really shit coincidence if you've managed to get a hold of that letter. And that's, oh, that is your brother. What a shame. That's not nice. It must be so easy to mix up your stuff, though, because it all looks the same. This is them now. 
their first real jump. Oh, that's very eerie, you all looking at me. Jacket by mistake. Sorry. You read it? Shame. Sorry about your brother, Bill. Such a shame. Second platoon, listen up. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Seriously, good luck, everyone. I feel very nervous for them all. And they're off. And they're going back now. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Everyone's proud of you. Like that. It must be awful. Remember and take your other pill. Wow, the sheeps. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. <gasps> the eyes of the world are upon you. Yeah, I knew it was going to finish there. That was nice. I liked it. So that's first episode done and I don't remember any other names. <laughs> I do, I remember two. So Sobel and Winters and Nixon. And I think that's it. I don't remember anymore. But I know Abraham from Walking Dead's in it and the guy from Desperate Housewives is in it. There's just so much to take in and I always get stressed with new series and the first episode's always the hard one because you have to, there's so much to pay attention to and understand and all these new characters and things and you know. But I really liked it. It was very nice and I'm so so glad that it's a TV series and not a movie because I like how it's going to be spread. It's like a, it must be like an hour episode so they're going to be spread out over 10 yeah 10 episodes instead of it just being like a two hour movie where there's so much happening in that two hour movie so yeah i'm excited for the next episode like the man said at the start like no i wouldn't have known if someone said airborne i would have been like what people jumping out of planes it doesn't really make sense because like you would think that it would cause more casualties than it would do any good but then there must be I suppose because they could just drop them anywhere whereas if you're on land then you, you have to like maneuver if you're in the air then you can just go wherever you want <laughs> it does make sense but it would be shit scary I don't think the extra 50 pounds a month or 50 dollars whatever they said would be enough for me depending on how much that actually was back then. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing the next episode. I don't think I have any questions yet and I don't think I have anything to say about this episode. It's just like a pilot episode where you just, everything's a lot of information coming in. Um, I was a bit confused with the, with the Sobel. So was his name Sobel or Sebel? Sobel. And it just his character because I thought he was going to be like building them up to be the best men and the best um, easy company and and they did I thought but then why was he so shit like when they were actually um, out in the field and doing missions and stuff like how did he keep getting lost all the time that doesn't make any sense maybe he's only good at that the PT side and the training side and the running and stuff and then when it comes to the actual real life practice he's like panics and I think they did say that that he was very jumpy so yeah he maybe gets really nervous and then doesn't have a clue what he's doing so the um I always get confused with Franks but the guy that transferred him he knew what he was doing to get him like out of the way because all they were all complaining about him that that's what happened there was it yeah so I don't think we might not see him again then in any other episodes. It was so weird seeing him because I've never seen, what's his name? David, it's David something. I've never seen him in anything else other than Friends. So when I saw him, I was like, oh my gosh, Ross Keller. 
<laughs> which you shouldn't do because they are actors and they play different characters all of the time. It's like when I see Daniel Radcliffe playing something else, they're like, well, you're Harry Potter and you're nobody else. Only Harry Potter. If you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. All that good stuff to help the channel grow. You know I love it and it makes me so happy. And, and I think that's it. I don't think. Let me just have a think. No, I don't think I have any questions. I probably will in the next episode when more happens and as it goes along I'll have hundreds and hundreds of questions that you guys will answer for me so it's just great. And that's it from me, I'm gonna have to go so thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!